Hi everybody. Uh, this is Stephen or Husky to Healthy. This is my sixth attempt at making a video. If it fails one more time, it's just going to have to be tomorrow because I'm exhausted. Uh, today is June uh, 30th. Uh, today's my eight week surgery. If you count the week before that I was on a liquid diet, making it nine weeks, I am, excuse me, I am down 48 pounds. Uh, I started off at 276. I'm roughly down to 228, 229. Um, not too bad. I'm very happy with it. Today I went to go see my weight loss therapist. Uh, it's the second time that I've seen her. It's been a little over a month since I saw her for the first time. Um, had a good session. Uh, we talked about uh, some things. The first thing that we talked about was uh, the scale. A lot of us have that love-hate relationship with the scale. I'm no different. Uh, I have a problem with overweighing myself. I weigh in the morning. I weigh when I come home from work. I weigh after uh, I work out, and I weigh before I go to bed. So rather than becoming a slave to the uh, scale, I'm going to try to just weigh... Um, I'm just going to try to weigh um, three times, I mean, weigh every three days or three and four days, which I would be on my surge anniversary Thursdays that I wear a blog where I would weigh myself. So, babbling. Um, I don't want to be a, a slave to the scale, and I don't think any of us want to be. I may have to hide the scale so I don't cheat. The second thing that we talked about was um, she, asked me, she asked me about being bored with food and how that was going. I'm a real foodie. I love to cook. I love to bake. It breaks my heart that I'm not baking more than what I'm doing right now because I love to bake and uh, just can't. <clears throat> and so um, I'm having problems with getting bored with the same flu the same foods over and over again. And my problem is, which I'm sure a lot of uh, single people go through, is we get a recipe and it'll say for four portions. And but for us, four portions is really eight portions. Um, if we're lucky. If sometimes it'll be twelve portions. So we've got all that extra food. I don't know about you, but I don't like to eat leftovers. Um, I can probably do a leftover if I skip a day, but if I have the same thing three times in one week, I'm not going to want it for quite a while. So I don't want to waste food and throw it away, but I don't have that large of a freezer either. So, uh, I'm having some problems with, with that. Uh, she suggested finding people that, that also cooked and then splitting up the foods and, um, it's a great idea. Unfortunately, most of the people that I know that cook live way far out, or the people who do live close by either A, don't cook, uh, B, don't cook well, or not that I like, or three, they're vegans or vegetarians. And um, so, not saying that there's, there's not a lot of stuff in there, but that means that I would have to cook in order to share with them vegan stuff, and uh, I like the meat too much. So, <clears throat> so we're going to work on that and see what's going to what's what hap what's going to happen with that. Uh, number three, um, no, I'm, I'm, I, there's five things I want to talk about, and I know I'm going to forget one. Uh, number three, we talked about rewards. Uh, actually, I brought up rewards. I told her that I had a real problem with the fact that. Um, you know, I think we all reward ourselves when we do well, if we finish up a project, if we, even if we lose weight or, or birthdays or whatever, we reward ourselves with food. Well, now what do we do? And, uh, you know, I'm sure that we can reward ourselves with buying our, you know, treating ourselves to something, but um, I'm also trying I'm on a three year plan to pay off all my credit cards. I'm in my beginning of my second year of paying that off and I'm trying not to trying to all my excess money going into paying off bills. So buying myself or treating myself is not the best reward. So we finally found a uh, 
compromise where she said, what would you normally reward yourself with? And that's normally going to this Chinese buffet that I love. They're, they have a sushi bar. They know what they're doing. They don't make a lot of items, a lot of dishes, but the dishes that they do make are good cut to meat, good flavor, good texture. They don't leave anything out there too long. And um, with tip and everything runs about $11. <clears throat> and so uh, I told her, I said, that's what I would normally do. She said, why don't you go ahead and take that $11 and put it somewhere. And then she, she can tell she deals with a lot of ladies. She's like, and then you can save up and you can get yourself a makeover or a manicure, a pedicure. And then she kind of looked at me and she was like, I'm oh, sorry. And she's like, or you could get yourself a massage or something. And I just laughed and I told her that I would think about it. Probably I'll be saving up maybe for like a pair of shoes or something like that. I'm real, real frugal when it comes to tennis shoes because A, they only last for a few months. And $50 is my absolute max that I'll pay for a pair of tennis shoes. Um, <clears throat> so we'll see. The other thing that she brought up with is, or that, that I kind of brought up is I'm kind of getting scared of food. Um, in the morning, I run, rush in and out. Um, I sleep as late as I possibly can. I live 15 minutes away from work. Uh, when that alarm goes off, I, um, I basically have taken a shower the night before. I go and I brush my teeth. I, uh, gargle, brush my teeth, pop in my contacts, wet my hair, fix it up real fast, go grab my clothes, throw it on. Go walk the dogs real fast, and then I grab something quick to eat. Lately, it's been uh, these homemade granola bars that I made. They're really good, although I am concerned about the carb intake that early in the morning. But um, it, it's working for me. I may switch to hard-boiled eggs just because I just want something that I can grab and go, grab and go. I don't. I'm not. I can tell you, I'm, if I'm not going to wake up in the morning to work out, I'm not going to wake up early in the morning to make myself eggs. It's not going to happen. So I'd rather be realistic than be like, if you really want it, she'll do it. No, I won't do it. Because when, I, when that alarm goes off, I'm going to hit snooze. So anyway, so the thing is, when I, um, I know that by, after I eat my lunch, basically two-thirds of my calories, and I'm doing about 1,200 calories a day, um, should be gone. And... Um, but I freak out if it's a little over 203, uh, two thirds cal the calorie intake. And I get scared of, oh, I'm going to go over 1,200 calories. Now, granted, I'm burning about, I eat 1,200 calories about, I like to stay right at 1,000, but I'll give myself to, to 1,200. But if, um, but I'm also subtract, but I also work out. So usually it's 500 calories for walking an hour or um, almost 1,000 calories for an hour of free weights and then 25 minutes on the elliptical. So, um, you know, I know I'm, I'm burning almost more than what I'm taking in, but do any of y'all get freaked out when you start getting close to your calorie limit for the day? And if you do, what do you do? Do you just say, oh, well, I'll screw, I screwed up for the day and you have whatever you want? Or do you just say, okay, well, I'm going to have something because I need to, but it's just going to be low in calories and high in protein? Or do you just be like, no, I should have done better and you don't eat? I'm kind of curious as to what you do, you know. Obviously, I'm going to do whatever I want to do, but I'm just kind of curious on how you deal with it, or was it something that you dealt with early on, and then you just kind of went like, uh, you know, I'm not going to be that obsessed with it, and it just goes away with time. The final thing, I'm coming on the nine-minute mark, so I'm kind of uh, talking fast. The final thing she brought up, which I thought was really, really interesting, was she asked me about how I was working out. I work out, basically, I walk a four minute mile wait oh, I've said take it back I, I walk a an hour four miles in an hour I basically walk four four miles in about an hour point six six minutes and so that was roughly around 500 calories that I burn I always try to do at least four miles and I do that every other day. And then on the other days, I go to the gym and I do uh, 
13 stations on the weight training, and um, that usually takes about an hour to get through them all. And then I um, uh, then I'd get on the elliptical, and I go for I'm up to 27 minutes. I started off like at 20 minutes, and then I just keep on, kept on adding a minute to each session to keep on building it up. I would like to be able to get to 30 to 45 minutes because I used to do 45 on the elliptical just alone with no weights. But anyway, I'm kind of you know doing that, and she's like, "Wow, she's like you're really doing a lot." She's like, "You're almost like marathon training," which I didn't think. But she's like, you're almost marathon training. She's like, what's going to happen when you hit your goal? And I was like, what do you mean? And she's like, okay, let me ask you a different question. She's like, what are you going to do? What are you exercising for? And or she, why do you go to the gym? And I'm like, to lose weight. And she's like, okay, well, what happens when you have no more weight to lose? She's like, why are you going to the gym? And I'm like, well, I guess I'll have to go to maintain, but I'm not going to work out as hard. And, you know, my whole thing is I'm 42 gonna be 42 next month I come home I walk the dogs go downtown to the gym at six o'clock and um, free parking work out for about an hour to an hour and a half and then when I come I mean hour to half to two hours by the time I get home it's almost eight o'clock shove something in my mouth really really quick and then you know I really would like to to stay up till 11 so it's three hours between eating and sleeping but I usually go to bed around 10 o'clock and uh, I don't want that to be my life forever. I want to be able to learn to make healthier choices. I want to substitute the bad habits that I have for healthier habits. I want it to become second nature for me to be like, well, you know, uh, I want a burrito with no tortilla and just have all the healthy ingredients then be like, I want the burrito and give me extra sour cream. You know, I want it to become a second nature for me to make these smarter choices and to eat the correct portion sizes and all like that. Plus, I'm also trying to build muscle because muscle burns fat fast. Muscle burns more calories than fat does. And so she said, well, just something to consider is a lot of people, when they get to their, their goal weight, they stop working out and then they put their weight back on. She's like, losing weight is not the hard part was for me but she's like losing weight's not the hard part it's keeping the weight off she's like so try to find something that you can work towards she's and I said well I'm kind of am I'm like I'm you know my goal is before the year's year is over with to be able to do five chin-ups I was never able to really do chin-ups in high school I'm trying to work on my upper body strength and she's like well that's good and I said and then once I hit that I wanted to do the P90X <laughs> like banded windy uh, but a lot of the P90X is um you do use sorry. You use the uh, you do pull ups a lot, and I've read on the informational thing that if you can't do pull ups, start with an, the other program that they have, which is basically more cardio rather than strength training. So she just said, you know, try to keep yourself always moving towards something. So rather than it be just it's just to lose weight, because once you lose your weight, where else do you have to go? And so hopefully it'll be more of a, you know, I'll have a more active lifestyle where I'll be like, oh, I'm going to take the dogs for a long walk or I'm going to go rollerblading and rather than going to the gym. And so it was interesting and, and I'm going to have to chew on that a little bit because um, I'd like to be able to go to the gym all the time. But at the same time, I don't want to have an hour and a half to two hours of free time only every day. So. That's where I'm at. Uh, thanks for all your support. Love all of y'all out there. And uh, wow, I actually got through at 14 minutes. So this is Stephen or Husky to Healthy. And